welcome back to another day with less anxiety. It's me, Orest, your anxiety coach. And today, I would like to talk to you about another extremely important mindset issue. And this is about the, the concept of wins versus learnings. Now, the important idea here is that you definitely want to be more invested in your learning, in your growth, other than wins and losses, of course. Now, obviously, we all enjoy winning. We all want to win. We want our projects to be well received. We want them to be successful. We want, uh, we want to achieve success quickly, preferably at the very first try, right? I mean, who doesn't? And nobody likes the losses that are also associated with the idea of winning or losing, making it, not making it, missing out, messing up, making a mistake, screwing up, however you want to put it. So the idea is that what you want to be focusing on is actually the learning that you can draw from both winning and losing. Now, I personally spent a lot of time trying to heal only the wrong side of this equation. I always realized that I had a lot of aversion to the idea of losing, messing up, being criticized, feeling bad about uh, not making the right choice, um, you know, wasting time. Wasting time is another idea that relates to the idea of messing up. Because even if you don't actually lose on something, you don't really lose money, but you can certainly lose time if you're investing your energies in the wrong direction. And you find out later. Now, I spent a lot of time, as uh, me as a person, I spent a lot of time trying to heal my aversion, my fear, because eventually I realized that anything that you are successful at will have gone through a lot of iterations. And actually, consider this. Anything that you're good at, anything that you say that you're at least reasonably good at is something, or anything that you enjoy and you don't even think about being good at it, those are things that you were not afraid to mess up over and over and over and over, either because of enjoyment or because you were interested in learning and getting better and you were just too focused on the learning aspect. Now, the thing is that when you have this kind of attitude, then you are exposed to enough experiences, you engage with the thing enough times that eventually you just work out what the best way is. You naturally learn what are the things that you don't want to do through what in another context you might call failures. But in the context of, context of something that you enjoy, you have fun with, or you're interested in learning, you don't really care because you know that winning or losing is not relevant because you're growing throughout the experiences or you're just having too much fun anytime that you're even the tiniest bit successful. So the most important thing here is that you definitely want to apply this kind of mindset to the things where you're stuck, to the things where you haven't been advancing. You definitely want to focus exclusively on the learning it's not the winning or losing that is going to make you successful. It's the doing, engaging with the task. Anything that you end up doing is what will, go, will get you further in your project. Now, as I said, I spent way too much time trying to figure out how to be okay with losses as soon as I realized that, that this is how projects grow. And at some point, I had this very powerful insight the concept of winning is also less important than just engaging with the task. And this is, I cannot stress just how important this is. That, that was one of the things that really liberated me to move forward. I have already advanced quite a bit in being okay with my losses, with my failures, but also Understanding that winning is not that important. It took my ability to take action to a completely new level. And I really, really appreciated that. And I hope you will get to do this as well. Now, there is an important distinction here. I do not want you to think that you cannot enjoy your wins. That's an entirely different story. Because your need to win is in fact inversely proportional 
to your desire to engage with something. If you're terrified that you won't win or you really need the win, like this, like, oh, I need to win, then you're much less likely to engage. In fact, the more you're stressed out about winning, the more you need the win, the less likely you are to engage because the bigger the risk that you will fail and you will not get your win. So it's much easier just to stay away from it and not, not feel the extra failure of having lost. You might just feel the mild failure of not engaging with something, which then again has a little bit of a buffer like I, I didn't even try so I didn't fail. Now, the idea here is that you can absolutely enjoy your wins. Of course, winning is fun. In fact, I, I really encourage you to celebrate your wins, but it has to come after you celebrated doing the task. That's what comes first. Your first win is doing the thing that you are planning to do. And then if it's a win, awesome, celebrate it. If it's, a, if it's a failure, if it's just a learning experience, still you get to celebrate that as well. But the biggest thing, the biggest step that you want is enjoying your engagement. Every other thing that we have been talking about, tricking yourself, making, you, making deals with yourself, getting yourself somehow to getting started, it all feeds into the same concept. So keep engaging with things. now. This can be a very difficult exercise. This is more than just an intellectual exercise where you agree with me and you say, yeah, 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 that's a good idea. Yeah, I should, uh, I should do that. You might need days, weeks, months of integrating this concept so that it really ingrains in you. I remember I, uh, so, you know, people can have just go through life, their entire life with, with this wrong kind of idea, trying to win all the time. I remember when... When I was like six, seven years old, I don't, I don't know exactly. Uh, we were playing a, a board game, and uh, never mind. It, uh, I, I'm not. <laughs> it was a communist version, basically. Of uh, I, I grew up in in Hungary in uh, in the eighties, so the <laughs> the idea of of the board game doesn't really matter. Uh, basically, you had to uh, build up your house and, and put all the, uh, all the uh, furniture and, and your radio and your TV and, and all, the, all the other things in it. And uh, I was playing in a way that I decided that I would go for everything as soon as possible, not ensuring the thing. And then when I drew the card that made you burn your entire house down, I lost everything. Uh, that turns out that my strategy wasn't the best because I just completely was out of the game at that point. There was absolutely no way for me to win. And as a child, I started to bawl my eyes out and just be, <laughs> I just really feel bad about the whole thing. Now, unfortunately, my parents in, my, in, uh, <clears throat> in their infinite kindness actually decided to alter the rules of the game or, or, or give me a chance just to not see me suffer. Uh, and unfortunately, that wasn't the very best of the choices because I did make a decision there that was not the most well-informed and, and it was a high-risk decision. I really wish that uh, someone was there to tell me that, hey, you know what? Okay, you just learned something. This was very unlikely to happen, but you bet on it and this was your strategy for this time. So add this experience to your future strategies. This was one game. You're winning by playing with your family. You're winning by engaging with your, your loved ones. You're, you're also winning because you tried a strategy and now you realize that this is a high risk strategy. It can pay off and it can get you to win, but it can also result in a devastating loss. So consider this for the future. This time it didn't work out, and uh, but you you can you still had a nice time with your family, and also you know appreciate that they're trying to be just the kindest people to you. So um, it may take a little bit of time to actually integrate this. Then I spent the rest of my life, you know, all the way until I started to engage with therapy and healing and understanding and integrating these learnings to really absorb deeply in my mind. So. Take your time in integrating this learning. 
Learning and growing is so much more important than winning. You are winning by doing anything, even if you fail at it. So I really hope you take this advice to heart. It has changed my life. And I really hope that this is going to be something that you integrate fully and begins to allow you to let go of anxiety and begin to enjoy doing the things that you have been holding yourself back from. Now, if a video like this is something you consider useful, please make sure that you like it uh, for others or share it with people that you know. Make sure that you subscribe to make sure that you keep getting these videos every day. And uh, also, if you have something nice to say or you want to share your insights on this theme, please leave a comment. I'd love to see you engaging with, the, with this content. And of course, because you still stay till the end, make sure that you just do a little bit of this and say to yourself, I'm doing good. I'm learning about how to get better, how to be more efficient, how to think better, how to feel better. So do a little bit of this and say to yourself, I'm doing good. And you know what? You are doing good. Uh, now go have a kind day, go have a lot of learning experiences, and see you tomorrow.